guys, and it's Jack from the future here. Just a quick note to say that we've split this vlog into two parts because we've got a bit more content than we expected for some reason. I can't remember. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy, and it's been a long year. I think we're finishing on a high. I do have some clips in here where I'm not wearing a face mask in public. Um, I took it off to film the pieces. In hindsight, not the smartest thing to have done, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy anyway, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, my packing is not aesthetically pleasing. Hey guys, we're back. Welcome to another vlog. We are just getting ready to get packed up and ready for not one, not two, but three weeks of racing. First two weeks in Bahrain for the last two races of Formula 2. And then I'm heading off to Abu Dhabi as well to do the rookie test with William. So just getting the bag packed, got a few bits to assemble. Helmet, that is definitely one. Um, but yeah, things are a bit of a mess right now. So got to get myself organized. Super quick plug. These guys, 226s, they uh, sent me out a bunch of stuff earlier uh, during lockdown. I'm down to the last protein bar. I'm taking a few of these recovery drinks sachets out with me just cause it's good to have after a particularly tough session, either in the car or doing something in the gym at the hotel. Cause you know, beefcake and it's nice to know that you've got stuff like that to hand because nutrition is key people nutrition is key i think i'm done i think i am sorted i've got a helmet a rucksack don't need him I've got a big old bag got all all the cables and charges in the world three week trip mm, it's a long time definitely forgotten something but it's all good let's head to london yeah. woke up too early for this Let's go. made it i'm at the hotel flight was okay and hopefully i'll get a negative result over the next 12 hours until then i am in isolation in my hotel room uh, so i'm gonna get some food because dinner time and then plan out a day of nothingness tomorrow really got um got to find a way to entertain myself so i uh, actually i've already got my test result back um negative <laughs> so i'm going to the gym a little run maybe some core work you know why not and then I'm gonna pick up my dad this evening from the airport because he's flying in to watch as well so that's the program for today quite dirty windows there's my view <laughs> so yeah gonna go do this run probably a half hour run so nothing too crazy because you don't want to get any uh, fatigue built up for the weekend just to get the heart rate up working after the flight you know a day where i was sat down pretty much uh, traveling um, and then cool down, a bit of stretching. So let's go do it. I need a haircut and sweaty masks, not the one. Okay. Got changed, or oh, had a shower, got changed, and uh, it's now quarter past one. And I thought now would be a good time to fill you guys in. I know it's been a while since my last vlog, sorry about that. It's just difficult because there's not a lot to vlog on race weekends. It's very, very restrictive of what we can show on track. I'm not really allowed to show any of the TV footage because of rights, and um, there's also some confidential information on the team side that I can't really give away so it's difficult to do in-depth stuff. Uh, I am going to film this weekend because it's the first one in a while 
and it's coming up to the, the end of the season. Maybe I'll do the season finale as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I do want to, to try and do some vlogs um, away from the racetrack as well. So, ah, should have brought some glasses. Um, so we're going to try and do something a bit more uh, varied. So I'll be showing you guys a bit more of what I'll be doing over the winter in terms of training, what we get up to in the off season, um, when the season kicks off again in January, February. It's a bit more on the business side of things, if you can say that. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll try. We'll be trying to bring you some different stuff, other than just at a racetrack, um, and hopefully some some cool stuff. Aha. Yep, that happened. I uh, managed to find a hairdresser. So now hair's not going to get quite in my eyes when I'm wearing my helmet. Since the age of 10, that's been my marker for when I need a haircut. When I pull on the helmet, does it get in my eyes? So, result. <laughs> This is the turn, this is turn 13, right? Yeah, that's why we have engineers on the track walk. Turn 13, and uh, it's a good place to look because this is the exit of the new track or the, the oval layout, which we're not gonna be using this weekend, but next weekend. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a different color to the normal track. It's kind of a lighter shade, and usually that means that it's not been used, and the track's not been used barely at all anyway because of well this year and everything that's gone on but that really looks brand new and we haven't even got this part of the track properly properly painted yet i think it's going to be really challenging when we start next weekend on that uh, but for now we're focused on this track walk done there's more than one reason that i got a haircut and uh, you guys are about to find out why that's right, we got ourselves some merch. So we're just going to do a uh, quick little shoot, try and get some pictures of the new stuff. These are just some samples. We're going to try and clean up some of the, the logos and hopefully make them even higher quality, but they're looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty pleased to be honest, so um, we're trying to get them all sorted for Christmas, so fingers crossed. I suppose we can have it looking down the, the pit lane. Or at this way you have to look into the sun, we don't run it. So no, yeah, true. Okay. okay. Number two. What do you reckon, mate? Fashion model coming in? No? Well, this one is a, it's a little bit too small for me. Um, it's, it's like a more of a slim cut. We're going for more of an oversized vibe. Um, but yeah, like I said, just a sample so we can fine tune things later, but pretty chuffed. I gotta do 600 of these. I have to stay in the white box. Can you just say that again? I, I'd you like are, to yeah, that, I, I should hope so. Bloody hell! <laughs> My hand is going numb, like already <laughs> after. I only did like four. Well, it, looks, it looks only four. Can I just say okay? that uh, it's perfect? <laughs> <laughs> You're on camera. Welcome to uh, Jack Attack Live Camp. Yeah, that. That's Chris Stockling, and that's the only important person you need to know. What else do you want to tell your viewers? That I'm awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Aiken is a very impressive man. Very, very impressive man. We uh, approve this message. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Good I'm going to go back and not do work. Yeah, cool. Good. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> awkward vlogging is awkward. All good? Listen. Tiro. Perfect, thank you. Stilo coming in with the hookup. Thanks guys, got some new visors and tariffs. Just fit them today, then we're sorted for the weekend. Just jumped in the uh, car because we had to make a few changes after my crash in Sochi. So everything's all good, belts fit, seat fits, positions all the same. Tick! So uh, I'm going to head back to the hotel, but um, I think that's prep day done. Good morning everybody. Just been out for a morning run as a warm up for today. Just get everything going because I'm not, not really a morning person. Quick shower, breakfast. Head to the track. A little bit cloudy out there today, I noticed as well. If you'll excuse the dirty window. So, made it to the track and uh, it started raining. Now, it was forecast to rain, uh, but it was only a little bit. And also, we're in the desert, kind of didn't think it would happen. Uh, but it is probably raining now. Like, uh, the bush have just gone out for the first track session of the weekend so everybody is in pit lane watching to see what's going to happen um, because yeah we've never really seen wet running at this track before so it's, uh, it's pretty crazy See how FB goes. It stopped raining a little bit ago. I think it's going to be dry. There are still some wet patches around. But um, yeah, let's see. Let's have a go. Well, that's quality done. Um, as you may be able to tell from my expression, that was pretty frustrating. Uh, the only lap I did was the first lap of the session. Usually we get maybe four laps and um, through red flags, yellow flags, traffic. Yeah, that first lap was the only one that I did and it, it wasn't a great one. So really frustrating because I feel like we could have done so much better and I didn't even get to try. That, that's probably why I'm frustrated is you, don't, you didn't even get to try. And quality is usually one of the, uh, the most fun parts of the weekend. Luckily, I can try again next week. Gonna buckle down tonight, do some work and, and yeah try and get some points. In other news, I've got this bit of rear wing which has been given to me <laughs> because the guys said they can't really repair it. Yeah, they were just going to chuck it so I was like, yeah, I'll have some, some carbon fibre. But yeah, I'm trying to think of things to do with this. I was thinking maybe could find a charity to uh, auction it off for. I don't know how interested people are in having random bits of carbon in their living room but you know, some people do make a great shelf very high strength shelving right there. But if you guys have any ideas, pop it in the comments. Could do something cool. Good morning, everybody. So Saturday, race one today. It's actually rained again this morning, which was not forecast, but it's now stopped raining. Just, you know, gonna go over a bit of strategy with the guys this morning and uh, hopefully have some fun making up some positions. Right now, I have to go and do a PCR test. Uh, so that's fun. 15. It's done. Okay. It's uh, race time. Wish me luck. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay. Race over. Ended up P10. And was pretty strong in the last laps. Like, um, first half of the race, we lost too much time fighting other cars, which was a bit frustrating but then we made the pit stop and we were able to come through the pack we, were, we had good pace we got like three or four guys in the last stint um, and i would have had uh, ticked them one more lap 
reverse grid would have been nice. A bit of a shame that. But uh, one point, roll on. Yeah, how do you rate Miguel's driving so far? Just okay. So, just okay. <laughs> medium tint today, medium blue, because it is still quite cloudy. It's not uh, clearing up as, as we might expect. Getting a bit brighter over there, but yeah, definitely a fair bit of moisture still around. Race two, Sunday, sign P10. Points uh, from P8 forwards, so let's go. A quick debrief there as did not go away. I mean, had a good start, was up into, I don't know, I was in the top 10 somewhere, like seventh even, I think. Um, there was a safety car, we boxed to try it on the option. Didn't really work, or it, it didn't work as well as we wanted to, but I still made it back up to P10, or P, yeah, P10. <laughs> on the last lap, um, I got turned into um, while trying to overtake someone, um, and the front wing went under the car. So pretty, pretty crap all around. Uh, luckily we don't have to wait too long until we can try again, but still, not mega, pretty frustrating. One champion Lewis Hamilton has tested positive for coronavirus. Is there anyone out there who wants to go fast? Anybody? I want to go fast. Um, so a lot's happened in the last 24 hours. Lewis Hamilton got COVID. When I saw that, I didn't really think much of it because George, who is a Mercedes driver, is contracted to Williams and Mercedes have their own reserve drivers. But what's turned out to be the case is that because it's the end of the year, they've wrapped up both the constructors and the drivers championship in Lewis's case. And they clearly have decided that they're going to play things a little bit differently. So they've asked to have George released from Williams. Williams have considered it. It's 9.41 on Yes, it's Wednesday. So there's been a, a lot of chat going back and forth over the last 12 hours. It's now 99.9% .9 there that George will go to Mercedes and I'll replace him at Williams this weekend, which would be my debut in Formula One. But there's still a little bit of paperwork to be done. They, they were scheduling an announcement for 10 o'clock. That might get delayed though, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, pretty crazy. For initial here, and here, and here. So extremely excited to be making my Formula One debut with Williams this weekend. I can't say thank you enough for the, for the trust that the team was showing in putting me in the car. And while it was never expected for me to make my debut this this year, um, I've been waiting a whole year and I've been ready. Um, so it's yeah, it's gonna be gonna be exciting.
couple of the camera in the sensitive bits. <laughs> yeah, all okay. For now, anyway. 